Hello everybody, Tim W here again as usual. Welcome back to Mailbag Monday. It's the 9th of December 2013 and the cold weather has really, really hit Austin. Very light week again this week, only three items, so let's get stuck right in, shall we? Uh, sorry I'm getting this one up a little bit late uh, in the day. I have been working on reviews, and, uh, text reviews, as well as new videos, uh, and that's plural. Uh, so a lot of those expect to see them tomorrow and during the week I need to get a whole lot of stuff uh, in the bag before Christmas hits and one of them definitely is Something more than night that Ian Tregillis book that got a very very enthusiastic response last week and uh, yes Expect that imminently uh, That's in the works right now as well as some others uh, from previous weeks. So uh, let's see what we have this time shall we? this first package is from gallery books and Rise Again Below Zero. Uh, it's a novel by someone called Ben Tripp, but this is a zombie novel, and so uh, not the sort of thing that I would typically cover here unless it's uh, a little bit more sci-fi SF oriented than uh, horror oriented, but this one looks to be fairly uh, traditional. From author Ben Tripp comes Rise Again Below Zero, uh, arriving in stores on the 17th of December, the sequel to the acclaimed debut novel Rise Again. Picking up two years after the dead begin to rise, Rise Again Below Zero stands on its own as a post-apocalyptic story in, of survival in a wrecked world. Hmm. Okay, with a truly original storyline, gotta be honest guys, it's not sounding that way so far, Rise Again Below Zero breathes new life into the genre of zombie fiction. In the apocalyptic world, there is a hierarchy, Moaners, hunters, thinkers, and then there are those who appear somewhere between alive and undead. Picking up where Rise Again leaves off, Sheriff Danielle Adelman, a troubled war veteran, has tracked down her runaway kid sister, Kelly, across the country. Kelly is definitely undead, yet she still somehow retains part of her humanity. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I, I'm not really seeing where the originality is on this. You know, maybe I'm being a little bit unfair and prejudging it. Uh, it sounds... Very much like standard issue zombie stuff, but who knows? If you've actually read Rise Again, the first book in this series, and liked it, uh, hey, let me know in the comments. But uh, whatever the case, Rise Again Below Zero has now been released. It is by Ben Tripp, and there you are. And this one is from Macmillan. Macmillan meaning Tor. Good old Tor. Who, who shows up every week without fail? With a book on hand? Well, it looks like the uh, indefatigable team of Herbert and Anderson are continuing the Dune saga with Mentats of Dune, the new novel in the internationally best-selling Dune series. This one is coming out March, and let's see what this one's all about. This March, Tor Books is proud to publish Mentats of Dune by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Gilbertus Albans has founded the Mentat School, a place where humans can learn the efficient techniques of thinking machines. But Gilbertus walks an uneasy line between his own convictions and compromises in order to survive the Butlerian fanatics, led by the madman Manfred Torondo and his swordmaster Anari Idaho. Mother Superior Raquela attempts to rebuild her sisterhood school on Wallach, the, on Wallach 9, the planet Wallach 9, with her most talented and ambitious student, Valya Harkonnen, who also has another goal, to exact revenge on Vorian Atreides, the legendary hero of the Jihad, whom she blames for her family's downfall, and on and on and on and on. So you've got loads of characters and all kinds of history and canon and lore and everything, and uh, they're just keeping, keeping the machine chugging along, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> Herbert and Anderson with Mentats of Dune this March. And last but not least, one more thing from Tor, and this appears to be a finished. Ah, okay. Um, well, it's another anthology, but, uh, you know, we're hitting the end of the year, and it's time for these. The Year's Best SF, this is Year's Best SF 18, edited by David G. Hartwell, legendary editor. Ah, uh, let's see, includes stories by... Megan Lindholm, Paul Cornell, Robert Reed, Yoon Ha Lee, Gene Wolfe, Eleanor Arneson, Sean McMullen, C.S. Friedman, uh, John Barnes, Naomi Kritzer, and uh, loads and loads of other people. Um, yeah, so if you like these end-of-the-year best-ofs, uh, they tend to, uh, you know, give you a good overview of what's really happening in short fiction in a given year. Uh, Gardner Dozois also has his series that I believe comes out through, um, gosh, is it St. Martin's or something, you know, the... Uh, annual year's best science fiction or something like that. Uh, a lot of folks don't really read short uh, SFF, and that's kind of a shame. You know, some of the best stories in the entire field have been done in the short form. So here you go. Uh, a one-volume overview of the year's best SF in short form by David G. Hartwell from Tor Books, available now, I believe. On sale tomorrow, the 10th.
Okay, so that is it for Mailbag Monday this time. Again, keep watching this week. I, I'm, I have to like immediately go back into the other room and continue editing and working on uh, some of the other reviews. So just pay close attention to the channel all week because there will be stuff, okay? Uh, if you enjoyed watching, please leave a like, uh, share this video with your SFF reading friends on all social media, and above all, please subscribe. I think that those subs could really be kind of rolling in here. I do appreciate everyone who does subscribe. And also, if you are using Amazon to do your Christmas book shopping, please uh, consider using my Amazon links. Uh, you can pretty much go to any review on my website, uh, click the uh, cover thumbnails on a review that will take you to Amazon, and then you can pretty much shop for whatever. It doesn't actually have to be the book specifically. So thanks as always for watching. Stay tuned. There's always more. And until I see you next time, happy reading.